Taekwon, Nick. when uh, when Dwayne went into the game, he's down six, gets a freshman, it's Michigan Stadium, the rivalry game. What were you guys thinking on the sidelines, and then what did you feel throughout that drive? Um, I was just thinking uh, about whatever adjustments we need to make. Um, at first, I knew uh, JT was down. And then when I saw Dwayne go in, uh, I, I really, you know, I trust whoever goes in the game because coaches wouldn't put him in the game if they didn't trust him. So trust whoever goes in there. Austin, like when you talk all year about you know coming back for year five and getting all those gold pants one more game, this one you came back from 14 early. I know last year was difficult, but does it mean more uh, to finish out with a win like this the way that you earned it? Uh, most definitely because you know it was my last one. Uh, you know, and, um, never lost against a team like mine. Uh, it feels great to say that. <laughs> Any other questions? Hands, anyone? Go ahead. Did you have any view of what was going on with JT or what was happening with that team on the Not at all. Not at all. What happened? Aaron, far, <coughs> far right. Uh, just, take one, just the performance of the defense, especially after giving up 14 points, essentially through the first play of the second quarter, the way you guys were able to turn around and, and really stop them. Um, I feel like we came out and we uh, played extremely hard. So, you know, we knew in the first quarter we had to start making an adjustment. Excuse me. Chris Worley has joined us. <laughs> Before I really interrupted, <laughs> but um, them right here. Um, we, we were playing very hard, you know, uh, first quarter we came out and we made some adjustments after that to stop the run and, uh, okay, sorry. just stop the run. And again, we have Chris Warley, the linebacker over here. Far back, Steve. For both of you, just the opportunity you have next week to play Wisconsin for a Big Ten championship, just what uh, what that game represents for you guys and, and a chance to hoist up the, the trophy in Indianapolis and whatever goes with that. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> um, that's what it's all about. You know, uh, we came and took care of job assignment number one, and I was going to beat the team over came out with the win, so um, now we, it's time to wait on our next assignment. We'll get back to work tomorrow and um, focus in on that, and, and then, you know, as the week go by, continue to work at it. Mike, want to any thought about that? Um, the main goal was to beat the team up north today, and, but now the focus is moving on to the Big Ten Championship. Uh, it's championship season, so uh, the preparation has to be a little more crisp, and everybody has to contribute a little more. Yeah, I mean, it's always great to play for a championship. We'll go with one more final thought from one more final question, if anybody has one. Uh, John, you got one? No, no. I don't think okay. so. Anybody? Chris, to go undefeated against Michigan in the rivalry as Taekwondo, how does it feel to complete that set of gold pants for you? Uh, no, I, I'm, my mind, I wasn't losing. So, I know these seniors, he wasn't losing. Um, he's 4 0, some of us. Four now. Some of us was three now. And, uh, <coughs> for the group of seniors, the fourth year, fifth year guys, you know, we were out here with four and five players to go past. So, you know, there's been some great Buckeye legends that hasn't won one. You know, and just think that we went, you know, our group went four or five, or five no against those guys. Uh, most of the times it was wars. Just think we came on the other side of those with wins. I'm happy. Did you have any doubt down 14? I never have that. <laughs> Great. Gentlemen, thank you very much.